This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book. And will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book A. A woman is painting a house. B. A woman is watering a plant. C. A woman is fixing a door. D. A woman is sweeping a walkway. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. They're folding some papers. B. They're putting a picture in a frame. C. They're studying a drawing. D. They're closing a window. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The man is turning on a light. B. The man is giving the woman a book. C. The woman is posting signs on a wall. D. The woman is typing on a keyboard. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Some clothing has been hung up. B. Some boxes are stacked on a cart. C. A bag has fallen on the floor. D. A chair has been pushed under a desk. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Some customers are paying for their meals. B. Some workers are washing dishes. C. Some food is being placed in a refrigerator. D. Some large cooking pots are on a counter. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Runners are lined up for the start of a race. B. Some people are cheering for a sports team. C. An athletic field is located near some trees. D. Lawnmowers are being used to cut the grass. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. 
Who wants to organize the patient files? A. Mean Sue would like to. B. Our phone number has changed. C. A well run organization. Number 8. Why didn't Miranda shut down the computers yesterday? A. Yes, my new laptop. B. Outside of Office 101. C. Because she left early. Number 9. Would you like the pie or the pudding for dessert? A. About $5. B. The pie sounds delicious. C. I just put it on. Number 10. Didn't you read Mr. Kim's memo? A. He used to live there. B. A newspaper article. C. Yes, I read it this morning. Number 11. We can put a seafood dish on the menu, can't we? A. They're in a stack over there. B. A restaurant with a view of the ocean. C. We can if you'd like. Number 12. Who managed the flower store last year? A. No, a monthly order. B. Some yellow roses, please. C. Marta did it. Number 13. Do you mind filling out our customer satisfaction survey? A. I filled the tank in the car yesterday. B. Sure, I can do that. C. The stairs are around the corner. Number 14. Why aren't those workers wearing their uniforms? A. Because they just finished their shift. B. I did work in manufacturing. C. A green shirt and jacket. Number 15. Do you want me to ask Jake about the report? A. Yes, that's a good idea. B. Somewhere on your desk. C. How was the conference? Number 16. Should I display the data on a chart or on a graph? A. They're more energy efficient. B. No, that can't be right. C. A graph would be better. Number 17. Where can I get breakfast near this hotel? A. Cream and sugar, please. B. Well, you have a few options. C. I believe so. Number 18. What was our net profit for the second quarter? A. No, he arrived first. B. At the new tennis club. C. $10,000. Number 19. Why don't you check the prices at a different paint store? A. Is there one that you suggest? B. Check in is at 11 o'clock. C. No, she's a photographer. Number 20. When will the presentation begin? A. Actually, I'm not presenting today. B. The production numbers. C. A screen and a projector. Number 21. We're trying to cut our delivery times. A. The cords are too long. B. Our customers will appreciate that. C. The box is in the closet.
Number 22. How much juice should I buy for the staff meeting? A. Sure, I'll take the receipt to accounting. B. Everyone from the department's attending. C. Do you want to get some lunch now? Number 23. Shouldn't you have left for your trip already? A. A couple of suitcases. B. The flight was delayed. C. Actually, it's on the right. Number 24. Has the warranty expired for our solar powered lights? A. No, we still have two more months. B. On the wall beneath the whiteboard. C. The session starts at 10 a.m. Number 25. You've placed the supply order, haven't you? A. On the desk is fine. B. It was a surprise party. C. I just submitted the payment. Number 26. When are you showing your clients the house on Bell Street? A. On the third floor. B. Tomorrow afternoon. C. It's playing at the downtown theater. Number 27. How long will the building addition take to complete? A. I'm reviewing the plans now. B. You can take that. C. In the back of the truck. Number 28. Which envelope should I use to mail these photos? A. No, I'm not using it. B. By the post office. C. Are you sending them express? Number 29. The quality control team is inspecting the factory soon. A. Some spare parts. B. Thanks, it went well. C. Everything is ready. Number 30. Where's the nearest bus stop? A. They work closely together. B. He left it at home. C. I'm going there now. Number 31. Could I come to your office today to sign the rental contract? A. A one bedroom apartment. B. I'll be here until five o'clock. C. $2,000 a month. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Maria. Were you able to start on the wedding cakes yet? Yes, I've started on the Anderson order. It's a little more complex than I thought it would be. Yes, they're more complicated and they do take a little more time, but it'll be worth it. Right. We can definitely increase our bakery sales by offering wedding cakes. Take a look. Is the color of this frosting okay? Actually, the order called for a dark pink. This is a little too pale. Let me get some more food coloring from the supply closet. Number 32. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 33. How do the speakers hope to increase sales?
Number 34. What will the man do next? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Joanne. I didn't know you rode a bike to work. When did you start doing that? Last week. The town just added a new bike lane on Felton Road, so now I can ride here. That's great. I heard the town government is planning to add bike lanes on some other roads, too. It's really convenient. My commute to work used to be an hour by bus, and now it's only 25 minutes. Wow. You know, I'm a member of a local bike riding club that takes tours on the weekends. You should join. It's a great group. Number 35. What does the woman say a town recently did? Number 36. Why is the woman pleased about a change? Number 37. What does the man suggest the woman do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello, Ms. Wilson. This is Oliver Lewis calling from Kardak Engineering. I reviewed your application for the mechanical engineer position and would like to interview you. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Good. I'll transfer you to my administrative assistant. He'll make the arrangements for the interview. Great. Hello, Ms. Wilson. This is Mr. Lewis's assistant, Martin. I'm wondering if Wednesday at 9 a.m. works for you. Yes, that's perfect. Now, I've never been to your office complex before. Where can I find directions? I'll email those to you. Number 38. What type of company do the men work for? Number 39. What is the purpose of the telephone call? Number 40. What will be sent to the woman? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. You've reached Taylor Dental. How can I help you? Hi, this is Susan Walker, one of Dr. Taylor's patients. I'd like to schedule an appointment for a teeth cleaning this Friday. Will that be possible? Unfortunately, we're all booked this week. But if someone cancels and an appointment opens up, I could contact you. Sure, thanks. I should let you know, in case you do get an appointment, that our parking area is under construction this week, so you can't park there. Oh, no. I don't know of any other parking areas nearby. Well, the number 10 bus stops right outside our building. Number 41. Where does the man work? Number 42. What does the man offer to contact the woman about? Number 43. Why does the man say, The number 10 bus stops right outside our building. Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, welcome to Chesterton Bank. How can I help you? Well, I'd like to deposit my paycheck into my savings account. Of course. Have you thought about signing up for direct deposit? That way your paycheck will go directly into your account and you don't have to come into the branch to do the transaction. That sounds great, actually. You just need to fill out some paperwork. I'll go prepare that now so you can sign up today. Number 44. Where are the speakers?
Number 45. What is the woman trying to do? Number 46. What will the man do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Hakim. The prototype for our new refrigerator is ready to show to our appliance distributors from Malaysia today. Oh, it turns out we had to reschedule the meeting about the refrigerator. Their flight was delayed and their plane won't be arriving until this evening. So I guess they'll be going straight to their hotel then. Should I arrange for a car service to pick them up in the morning? Yes, thanks. Around nine o'clock would be good. OK, I'll do that right now. Number 47. What product are the distributors coming to see? Number 48. Why has the meeting been rescheduled? Number 49. What will the woman do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello. Welcome to the Chemistry Research Conference. Here's your name badge and welcome packet. It includes a program with a schedule of conference events. Thank you. Do you happen to know if there will be a question and answer session after each presentation? I have a question for one of the speakers. Yes, there'll be a few minutes at the end of each session for that. Oh, and before you go in, don't forget to choose a travel mug from the next table. We have two different colors this year. Number 50. Where are the speakers? Number 51. What does the man say he wants to do? Number 52. What does the woman remind the man to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Takumi from Color Printing Solutions. I emailed you the mock-up of your company's flyer this morning. Have you had time to review it? Oh, hi Takumi. I just saw your draft of the flyer and was about to call you myself. We actually have a new company logo. Okay, no problem. Can you send it to me before lunch? That way I can be sure to finish the print job by the end of today as promised. Sure. Please charge the order to the credit card you have on file for our account. Number 53. What business is the man calling from? Number 54. Why does the woman say... We actually have a new company logo. Number 55. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. A lot more people have been visiting the museum lately. My tours have been completely full. What about yours, Emily? Mine too. I think it's because of the new art exhibit, the one that was donated by Juno Siska. It would be interesting to know how she started collecting art. Well, I just heard that Ms. Siska will be here next Thursday afternoon to talk about her collection. I'm sure there'll be a chance to ask her questions. That sounds great. How much are tickets to that event? Oh, you won't have to pay. Everyone who works at the museum gets in free of charge. Number 56. What do the women do at the museum? Number 
Number 57. What most likely caused an increase in museum visitors? Number 58. According to the man, what will happen on Thursday? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I bought this computer just the other day, but I think it may be defective. The operating system software has frozen on me several times already. Well, freezes are common during setup, and there's an easy fix for that. We do offer technical support for a small fee if you're interested. Isn't that included in my insurance package? Oh, you bought our insurance. Yes, technical support is one of the benefits. What's your phone number, please? I can pull up your policy with that number. It's 555-0144. Number 59. What problem does the man have? Number 60. What did the man's purchase include? Number 61. What information does the woman request? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and catering menu. Hey David, our clients are coming from overseas next week and we need to order the food for the welcome dinner. Which of these dishes do you think we should get? Well, the last time we had clients here, we ordered the vegetable pasta. Everyone really liked it. Yeah, I remember. But this time we have a larger budget, so I wanted to order something different. Why don't we order the baked salmon? I was thinking that too. Also, we still have to call and confirm the hotel booking for our clients. I'm going to do that now. Number 62. What are the speakers preparing for? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much will the speakers most likely spend per person? Number 64. What does the woman say she will do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and instructions. Carl, you cleaned all the equipment in the laboratory last night, right? I received a complaint from one of the lab technicians this morning that I wanted to talk to you about. Really? What was the problem? Well, he said that the microscope lenses were dirty. When you cleaned them, did you wipe them in a circular motion like the manual indicates? If you don't, it could just spread the dirt around. Oh, you know, I think I might have done that the wrong way. Sorry about that. It's okay. Other people have made that same mistake. I'd better copy that page in the manual and post it in the lab for all the staff. Number 65. Why does the woman want to talk to the man? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which step in the procedure does the woman mention? Number 67. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and graph. Hi, Sandra. 
This information packet contains statistics about our sales performance so far this year. Take a look at this page. It has the sales figures for our high-end tires for the first quarter. Hmm, interesting. The Z150 is our newest car tire, right? And we sold 35,000 of them in one month this quarter. What happened that month? We offered a discount to car dealers that bought more than 1,000 tires. It was extremely effective. When we ended the deal, sales went down a little bit, so we're offering it again this month. Number 68. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which month's sales figures does the woman ask about? Number 70. What does the man say they will do this month? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Okay, let's get the monthly staff meeting started. First off, this Saturday is the annual holiday parade. And as many of you know, the parade goes right down our street. It's always one of our busiest days. Lots of people will stop by for lunch, and the line can get quite long. So we'll need a few extra cooks and servers, and everyone who works that day will get overtime pay. Let me know soon if you're able to work on Saturday. Oh, and I strongly recommend taking the bus or train if you can. Remember that it will be very difficult to park on Saturday during the event. Number 71. According to the speaker, what will take place on Saturday? Number 72. Where do the listeners work? Number 73. What does the speaker suggest that the listeners do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Jamie. I really like the suggestion you gave at yesterday's staff meeting for promoting our electronics store. I think holding a photography contest is a great idea especially since we mainly sell cameras and camera equipment. There are several things we'd have to do to prepare for it, though, like decide on a submission deadline and outline the basic rules for the contest. We could even consider offering a prize for the first-place winner. Let's meet sometime this week to get started. I'll take a look at our schedules this morning and book a time for us to get together. Number 74. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 75. What is the talk mainly about? Number 76. What does the speaker say he will do this morning? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Okay, everyone. Before you head out to the factory floor this morning to start your shifts, I have a brief announcement. As most of you know, the new conveyor belt is now installed and up and running. This new conveyor belt is very similar to the older model, except it's twice as fast as the old one. 
This means that our factory can now move double the number of units per hour. Clearly, this is a big improvement in production speed. However, it could also be a challenge for us to watch out for production errors, so you're all required to watch a short training video this morning before starting work. Number 77. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 78. What key difference does the speaker point out? Number 79. What does the speaker say the listeners must do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Guangho. Listen, I hate to bother you after you've left the office for the day, but I just took a look at the materials for the health insurance orientation we're doing for our new employees on Wednesday morning. Andre was supposed to finish preparing the new employee benefits packets, but he's been out sick, so they're not done. I know you're going to be busy, but I don't have any appointments tomorrow. I do have a couple of questions about some of the materials, though, so give me a call back. Thanks. Number 80. According to the speaker, what will happen on Wednesday? Number 81. What does the speaker imply when she says, I don't have any appointments tomorrow. Number 82. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following advertisement. Do you work in the technology industry? Want to stay updated on the latest industry trends? Subscribe to our online magazine, Tech Now. This month's issue is devoted to women who are leaders in the technology field. We're pleased to present an exclusive interview with Erica Clifton, the founder and CEO of Clifton Technology Solutions. Erica gives advice for women starting their own businesses and shares her personal success story. If you subscribe to Tech Now today, you'll receive a free padded carrying case for your laptop. But hurry, the promotion expires in a week. Number 83. According to the speaker, what is special about this month's issue of Tech Now? Number 84. Who is Erica Clifton? Number 85. What does the magazine offer this week with a subscription? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following broadcast. This is Health on the Go, a weekly broadcast that gives you advice about your eating habits. Today we're talking about salt. Who's heard that salt is not good for you? Well, this negative view of salt is surprising because it's simply not true. You actually do need some salt in your diet to remain healthy. But remember, salt occurs naturally in most foods, so you don't need to add extra salt to your diet. In fact, even fruits and vegetables contain salt. I know you're all interested in trying more recipes that use fruits and vegetables. We'll be talking about that on next week's broadcast. Number 86. What is the broadcast mainly about? Number 87. Why does the speaker say she is surprised?
Number 88. Why does the speaker say? We'll be talking about that on next week's broadcast. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following news report. Welcome to the Evening News. I'm your host, Charlene Dawson. We've got a lot of interesting stories to cover on tonight's program, and at the top of our list is an exciting announcement from Francisco City where a solar-powered airport will be built, one of the very first solar-powered airports in the world. If you're looking for a job, NASA Builders, the construction firm that is building the airport, will be holding an employment fair next month. At the fair, they'll interview and hire workers for the project. For more details about NASA Builders, check the city's website. Number 89. According to the speaker, what is unique about the airport? Number 90. What does the speaker say will happen next month? Number 91. According to the speaker, how can the listeners get information about the construction firm? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following broadcast. Hi, everyone. My name is Raul Bautista, and this is History with Raul, the weekly podcast where we investigate little-known historical facts that have had a huge impact on today's world. Today we'll be discussing a topic from art history. We'll hear about the mysterious disappearance of some paintings from a museum in 17th century Europe. Professor Ignacio Ortega from Westland University will explain what happened. But before we speak to Professor Ortega, please remember, this program is only made possible by the financial support of our members. Visit historywithraul.org today. Number 92. What is the topic of this week's podcast? Number 93. Who is the guest on this week's podcast? Number 94. Why does the speaker say, This program is only made possible by the financial support of our members. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and schedule. Welcome back, everyone. At tonight's session, we'll pick up where we left off and go right into a discussion of the different types of interviews, in person, by phone, etc. After a brief break, I'll split you into small groups so you can practice being in an actual interview situation. I'll walk around the room and listen to each group in order to give you individual feedback. Now, before we start, please sign your name on the attendance sheet on my desk. Number 95. Look at the graphic. On which date is the talk being given? Number 96. What will the listeners do after the break? Number 97. What does the speaker remind the listeners about? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and garden layout. Thanks for attending this planning meeting for the new neighborhood garden. I'm Chow and I'm coordinating this project. Here's the layout for the new garden. We'll mostly be planting vegetables, but we will have a herb garden too, and we're going to plant that first. The herbs are going to go in the plot between the picnic area and the tool shed. Also, I need volunteers to help me on Saturday. 
I'd like to put up a fence around the perimeter of the garden. The wood for the fence will be delivered that morning. Number 98. Who is the speaker? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Where will herbs be planted? Number 100. What does the speaker plan to do on Saturday? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book. End of recording.